All right, everyone, what is the mass in grams of a single atom of each of the following elements? Hg is mercury and Ne is neon. So keywords for this problem, what is the mass in grams? So normally we don't talk about individual atoms and especially not with the units of grams. Normally we'll use AMUs, which stands for atomic mass units. But that's what the problem's asking for, so let's do it. Let's talk about mercury first, Hg. Now looking at the problem, we aren't given any numbers, so what do we start with? Looking at the periodic table, we can see the molar masses of our elements. That's what we're going to use. Remember, the molar mass is how many grams is one mole. So we have the mass of a mole. For mercury, it's 200.59 grams per or over one mole. We can turn that grams per mole into grams per atom or grams over atoms. So this is a conversion problem. So we're going to multiply our by our conversion factor. Now we want grams per atom. So we want to keep grams, but we want to get rid of moles. Moles is on the bottom of what we're starting with. So to get rid of it, we want it on the top of our conversion factor. And we want atoms. So there's our conversion factor with our units, and now we need to put in our numbers. What relates moles to atoms? Well, a mole is just a number, number of anything, atoms or whatever. It's the number 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd. So in this instance, one mole is 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd atoms. So just looking at the units, if we wanted to solve this equation, Grams will stay, moles will cancel, because it's on the bottom and on the top, and atoms will stay. So in the end, we're going to have grams per atoms. So let's do the math. In our calculator, we're going to put 200.59. You could divide by 1 if you want, then multiply by 1. But more importantly, we're going to divide by the bottom of the conversion factor because it's not 1, so it will change the value. It's 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd. And remember, we want to keep that together because if we don't, our order of operations on our calculator will not solve this correctly. So we're going to hit equals there, and we're going to get a very, very small number. 3.33 times 10 to the negative 22nd. So an incredibly small number of grams because atoms are incredibly small particles. Okay, let's do neon. So for neon, again, we're going to look at the periodic table and see that for 4.2 zero zero grams that is one mole so we're gonna put that over one mole this is our molar mass that we're starting with and we want to end up with grams over atoms grams per atom so we're gonna convert here again and remember moles is on bottom of what we're starting with. So we want moles on top of our conversion factor to get rid of it, to cancel it out, and atoms on bottom because we want that on bottom for our answer. We want grams per atom. So now we need the relationship between moles and atoms. Well, doesn't matter what we're talking about. One mole is the same number, 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd. So let's plug this in our calculator, 4.00 divided by 1 times 1 divided by 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd. 
I'm going to put this in parentheses so we know that all stays together equals and we get 6.64 times 10 to the negative 24th. So again, a very, very, very small number of grams. So in the end, what is the mass in grams of a single atom of each of the following elements? Well, for mercury, one atom is 3.33 times 10 to the negative 22nd grams. And neon, for a single atom, is 6.64 times 10 to the negative 24th grams. All right, everyone, if you want to see another example, click in the top right. Please like this video if it helped you in any way. Feel free to look in the doobly-doo below for additional help and resources. Please subscribe and ring the bell to get notified for new videos. And thank you, thank you so much for watching.